we're going to take a look at the cranial nerves. It's kind of a lateral via the brain. And a frontal view. inferior view. A lot of times when you look at the brain you have to know its orientation. As we can see, inferior view olfactory bulbs part of our olfactory nerve sometimes referred to as olfactory tract there's the pituitary gland you can just make out the infundibulum or hypophyseal stalk connecting hypothalamus to pituitary remember the pituitary gland resides in the cella turcica Optic nerves, this is C2, CN2. The optic nerve carries vision, and this is the only nerve that crosses the midline. There's that optic chiasm. Have to get in there a little close to see this one. In the midline, above the pawns, you can see the two small towards the midline anterior above the pons or mesencephalon and pons unite we have olfactory nerve green nerve number four coming from the posterior aspect and coming around to the front we can see the Green nerve number four. This is our trochlear nerve. Green nerve number five. There's the pawns. Get a good hold on this. You can tell the anterior swelling the pawns. You can see right here cranial nerve number five, the largest cranial nerve, trigeminal nerve with three branches V1, V2, V3. V1 ophthalmic branch, V2 maxillary branch and V3 mandibular branch. Number six, all in the midline by some right here, abducens nerve. So in a sense we have in the midline structures, number one, two, three, six, as far as the midline structures. Off to the side we can see two nerves paired together cranial nerve number seven and eight facial and vestibular cochlear nerve nine and ten are kind of paired together behind the olivary body of the medulla oblongata vagus nerve larger on top this is cranial nerve number ten I'm sorry nine above 10. Sorry about that. Trying to get a good view there. Green little nerve number 9 is smaller, 10 is larger on the bottom. Right there. Glossopharyngeal vagus nerve. And we can see 
down here, spinal accessory nerve. There's part of the, see the medulla oblongata. There's the pons. In the midline of the medulla oblongata, we have pyramidal tracts, and overlying this, we have our 12th cranial nerve, hypoglossal nerve. Hello, we're going to a quick overview of the brain, as we can see. Anterior, posterior, so superior, inferior. This is our frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. We can see here the cerebellum, the pons medulla oblongata. Lateral fissure. Let me get both halves together. Longitudinal fissure. This is where your Falk Street Bry will reside. You can see the frontal lobes. And also you can see in this orientation where the shelves of the skull anterior, middle, and posterior cranial fossas would rest this brain in this area. There's going to be what we call a central sulcus. Sulcus or sulci collectively are the grooves. Gyri are these raised areas. Gyrus being singular. So we have our central sulcus and in front is called the pre-central gyrus. And this is where your primary motor cortex is. Post-central sulcus is our primary motor cortex. You can see a few things on the inside here. Here's our corpus callosum, the body that's large right here. Interconnective highway of white matter between the two hemispheres right and left. This is the fornix, part of that connective highway between limbic systems. The limbic system is that emotional center tying in uh, memories, uh, endocrine system, emotions, and also part of that is that of the limbic system, that cingulate gyrus which is right above corpus callosum. Let's get a little closer here as you can see there's a small translucent membrane here we call it the septum pellucidum. This separates the lateral ventricle now in this model it doesn't show it very well but there's a small opening that allows cerebral spinal fluid to flow from the lateral ventricles into the third ventricle we call it the interventricular foramen actual the real brain in lab if you look for that you can actually see it very nicely there's the thalamus right here base, this is the floor, this is the hypothalamus. There's the inner thalamic adhesion. This is where it connects with the left to the right thalamus. If you look close, let me turn this a little bit so you can see. You can see there's the optic nerve, optic chiasm right here. And right here it looks like a little funnel. This is what